Officials say the number of human trafficking cases prosecuted in Nebraska jumped from zero to 92 between 2007 and 2022. That jump is due to a special task force created in 2015 that is zeroing in on human trafficking. Uh, Jatine Tinsley joins us now with more. Jatine. That's right, Rod. And so far, that task force has secured dozens of convictions for human traffickers here in Nebraska, and they don't anticipate it slowing down anytime soon. The goal of Nebraska's Human Trafficking Task Force is to increase awareness that is happening throughout the state. The more residents know what to look out for, the more they can prevent someone from being trafficked. Increased awareness is key. Knowing that it does exist here in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska is the first step toward prevention. A map from the task force outlines areas where human trafficking has been reported and it reveals that it's not just in Lincoln or Omaha. State Patrol Lieutenant Monty Lovelace says one of the main routes used in this crime is right here in our own backyard. Inter Interstate 80 is a, a pipeline for all kinds of criminal activity all across the nation. It is a main thoroughfare through many states and it connects one coast to another. So uh, not only are, are there sex trafficking issues that happen, there's also drug trafficking and other types of crime. Executive Director Paul Yates runs I've Got a Name, a nonprofit that works with victims of sex trafficking. He says the numbers he's found attached to the crime are staggering. Creighton University released research that I believe was really very unique and the first of its kind in the country about Nebraska and sex trafficking in Nebraska. You can find that research on our website. It's amazing. They found that every 30 day period, at least 900 girls and women are for sale. In Lincoln, Nebraska, at least 200 women and girls are for sale every 30 day period. Only 1 to 2 percent of trafficked kids are recovered. Children can be trafficked in a number of ways, but in 2022, the primary means for a trafficker to gain access to unsuspecting kids is online. We see that there is a correlation to the use of the Internet and people that are trafficked, so I would tell uh, any of your viewers that are listening to, to be careful who they talk to online. Uh, to make, especially to teens, don't talk to people that you don't know. Uh, set your privacy settings uh, to where you're keeping your personal information private. Uh, eliminate risk behaviors. Eliminate going to places where you may uh, lose uh, ability to control uh, certain aspects, you know, uh, excessive drinking. And if you have been sex trafficked, Yates wants you to know that there is help available. If you're out there and you're being sexually exploited or you're being trafficked, reach out to us. Go through our website. You can remain confidential. You can remain anonymous. It is important to note that there is a common misconception about who can be a victim of human trafficking. It is not restricted to kids. Adults can be trafficked too, although children are often more vulnerable to the crime. Jatine Tinsley, thank you very much for the story.